Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a voiceover today. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So I've got my products worked down. I did this last night. So as we go through, I'm going to tell you what they are and then I'll put them in the description as always. Hope y'all are having a very good and wonderful day. Uh, first thing I did was the Pixie Hydrating uh, Milky Spray, as you see put me putting on my face. Hey, it feels so good. My face has been so dry and just not feeling itself. I fan my face just for a minute or two. You don't have to necessarily do that. Next, I take Makeup Revolutions Makeup Spray Primer. And uh, it's an aqua primer is what it's called. I'll spray it all over my face. And then I just, you know, kind of fan it a little bit. Next, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Cushion in the shade W2. I've not tried this. This is something I tried last night and I wore it oh, probably two or three hours after I got done filming I got to clean the house I couldn't sleep guys lots going on a lot of fires and just a lot of stuff happening that I'm just got myself all tore up about that I can't sleep so I did this and I really liked it when I took it off last night it hadn't oxidized on me or anything um it's not you know I bought the Korean y'all have seen me use the Korean in other tutorials the white K Korean um, magic sponge and the lightest shade they make and I was hesitant about this L'Oreal L'Oreal cushion uh, just because I've heard negative positive you know you know back and forth um, reviews on it so I wasn't really for sure how I wanted to do it so I just decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and try it so as you can see in my background I got my Christmas stuff up I've got a um, little silver uh, tree and then my big D and then I've got an angel flashing behind me and then I've got my star some holly berries and then I've got a little snowman that says faith um, the tree the angel the berries and the snow and the snowman came from family dollar and the dollar tree the star came from Lowe's and the D I told you I got at Hobby Lobby um, months back when I first started doing my room. So I'm listening to music. Smokey's running around in the in the bedroom, just kind of going wild as he is right now while I'm doing the voiceover. Um, and I'm just making sure I'm covering real good and that it's covered. It's a light to medium coverage. It's not a full coverage, but you can easily build it up to a full coverage. Um, that was one of the big complaints is people said that it it was just too light. Uh, now, me, if I'm out running errands, I would prefer a light foundation if I'm just, you know, around town doing kind of things. So, but this is buildable. Next, I'm going in with Smashbox 24-hour primer for my eyelids. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I take and put a little bit on my middle finger on one hand and smush it together on the other one. I'm trying to get my cape back up here. I've got my pajama top underneath it, and I decided to film, so I just put... Um, a little black um, scarf over it and then clipped it so that's what I'm doing um, I've ordered a whole bunch of um, infinity scarves from Shop Miss A's and then I've got some outfits but I'm waiting on the scarves to come in to complete the outfit so either way I go I'm waiting on that next I'm going in with the Coastal Scents uh, Winter Berry Palette um, I love Coastal Scents pa uh, shadows. Um, they're beautiful. The first shadow I'm going to use is called White Silver. And it's not the one I point at in the video. I'm sorry. I changed my mind after I really looked at it. I needed to do something a little white. So I went with the White Silver. And on my Morphe Eon 535, which is a big fluffy brush, I patted that all over my eyelid just to cover it up. I tried showing you my camera... We took my camera and we done some videos, uh, not videos, but some pictures and stuff And at the 4th of July for Mamaw's 90th birthday. And ever since then, this, Josh messed something up with the settings and I can't get them back the way I had them. So, I just got to deal with what I got. So, that's that's the uh, white silver. It's very pretty. I'll just take it all over my eye. I'm trying to show you it ain't showing up. That's why I was looking at the viewfinder for It's just not showing up. So I just take this fluffy brush, which like I said is the M535, and uh, shade it all over my eye, pat down that um, primer that I used. 
and I do it on both eyes and at one point here I'm starting to fuzz at the dog yep right here it is I dropped something and I dropped a sponge last week and he got a hold of the sponge so I had to throw it out and get a clean sponge out and I had just gotten that sponge out so I was very upset it was hot in the house last night too we were having thunderstorms like crazy and I just don't know if it was the best time for me to actually try to film but I done it I, I passed I, I pushed myself on through for you guys next with the morphe 535 the same brush I'm going to use light plum out of this kit and this is a palette that is on uh, coastal sense website um, it's winterberry palette and I put this in the crease this is light plum and I'm doing windshield wiper motions here back and forth just clearing it out making sure there's no harsh lines now get both eyes done and then I go in with mauve frost now mauve frost is a very mauve it's mauve frost and it's beautiful it's mauve and, and silver mixed together it's a it looks taupe or brown there on my camera but in life it's it's absolutely gorgeous and I take the um, M 332 and I put this in the crease just a little bit below where um, I put the light plum and I'm just building up my crease shadow you know my transition shadow and I think I'm going to have to start, um, I need to rearrange my tripod and my camera because this view is just not doing justice for what it looked like last night. I've got pictures on my phone. And now my eyelid. I'm using the B15. It's a flat, um, it's a flat brush, but it's got a lot of pigment or a lot of bristles. And it is, I can't pronounce the first one, but it's T-U- t-h-u-l-i-a-n pink and this is the brush this is the um, the b15 and I put it on and I pat see how I'm patting if you do the windshield wiper motion with this you're going to knock your color off and it's not going to be as pigmented as you want it to be now I do windshield wiper motion as I go up to the crease but on the eyelid itself I pat it down and then um, I go back with the fluffy brush, which is the B or the M 535. Nope, I don't do that yet. I take the M 425. No, 432. I'm sorry, 432, and I go underneath my eyelash, underneath my eyeshadows, and our eyelashes on the bottom. And I'm using the light plum. And I use that pink, that T H U L I A N pink underneath, and and kind of you know do that. And that's what I'm showing you is the pink. And then I do there we go. I do the pink over top of it and just kind of build it up. It was a very pretty color, uh, and it looked gorgeous after I got it done. Um, I was very pleased with it. You know, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about this palette, too, and I thought, you know, I like Coastal Sense. I've never had problems, so I got it. So, now we're going to go in with the True Match, L'Oreal's True Match Concealer, and it's um, in the shade Fair, and I'm doing the normal, under the eyes, down the nose, Cupid's bow, um, chin, and forehead, and then I take a Real Technique sponge, and it's stamp, and I just sponge it to death I, I'm lip singing I put on some 80s music last night that I hadn't heard in a while and just started going at it like I said there's been a lot on my mind and I laid down yesterday for about three hours and couldn't sleep and got up to go to the bathroom and went to lay back down and just could not lay back down could not go back to sleep the dog was not he wasn't really being mean last night or nothing it was just a lot of things on my mind and I just couldn't sleep and prayed and you know it helped some but not enough to really lay back down and go back to sleep so I ended up cleaning my kitchen I took all the stuff off the cabinets and wiped everything down and I done dishes and I filmed and 
I straightened up in my beauty room and I watched 9 to 5, which is an oldie. It's got uh, Dolly Parton in it and um, Sally Fields. Is it Sally Fields? No, not Sally Fields. It's got Dolly Parton in it. I can't remember the rest of them. Then with my powder brush, my M107, I take the All Over Face True, True Match L'Oreal uh, powder. And I just powder everything instead of doing baking. I'm just showing you that you do not have to bake every time you do concealer. As long as you put powder on the concealer, you're good. You're not going to crease. You will crease a little if you've got fine lines like I do, crow's feet, that kind of thing, without baking. But you can do it without baking. I'm just showing you here that you don't have to bake. So that's what we're doing on this one. And like I said, that's the Morphe M107. No, this is not... Uh, Um, sponsored I bought these brushes myself and everything I own I bought so yeah next I'm gonna I'm getting my physician's formula and light bronze and I'm getting my eco tools and it's the rounded eco tool it looks like oblong it's great for bronzing up the face and I know it's winter time and people say why do you bronze the face up if it's winter time well you still want a little bit of, of color there so you do your temples, you do across your forehead, you do underneath your chin. And tonight, for last night, I, I went all the way under. And then I done underneath my jawline there. And then I done underneath my lip, which I always do underneath my lip. Then I go in with Vintage by Jessica. And this is another name I can't pronounce. It's L-I-E-B-E-S-H-I-N-D. The color is rose gold. And I use my Morphe. M142 which is a, a blush brush and this is actually when I got it in my boxy charm it is uh, considered a highlighter there is glistening in it it's a gold glisten but it's not enough for me for a highlighter it's more of a blush um, it's a very touch of pink type blush and I, I like it so it's buildable you can go light handed and then you can go heavy handed so you know um, I definitely need to get some box lighting. That's on my list, so that's what we're going to do. Next, I do my eyebrows, and I'm using Maybelline uh, Brow Drama in soft brown. And I don't. I went today and had my eyebrows actually waxed. They needed to be waxed. That's the reason I didn't do the pomade or anything. I just brushed this on. And then I take the Ulta Clear Brow Gel, and you know plaster them bad boys down and I'm watching Smokey he's over here at my um, workstation and I've got a blanket laying here for where he can get up in the chair well he started digging at it and it was one that was made for me um, during one of my miscarriages before I had my miscarriage um, and the ladies passed on now that made it for me so it's very very special I'm telling him to lay down and quit now I'm using two faces better than sex uh, black mascara on my uppers and lowers but he's he's being a he was being a brat last night he kept digging at my blanket and I was afraid he's gonna tear it up so today we changed blankets so he can't tear it up but anyway um, the seat I sit in is leather in this room I keep the heat off of it unless I know I'm gonna come in here and film or I'm gonna be in here working and it's gonna be a long time then I cut the vent on so I was kind of fussing at him about that We've only got a couple more things left on this tutorial. I really hope that uh, you all are excited about the giveaway coming up January 31st. Um, remember that is a $50 gift card to Ulta, $25 gift card to Morphe on, online, and Ulta is going to be in store or online. And then there's going to be an extra surprise in with this gift. I've not told nobody about it. Um, I think I talked to my sister just to get some ideals on a girl's perspective and then I talked to my husband about adding it to it and they was excited so yeah this is Jeffree Star's Ice Cold and it's a highlighter he has a whole collection and I'm using a Real Techniques sculpting brush to put this on and like I said I really need to invest in my box lighting and we, we looked at some today and of course Josh had a bit work so we didn't get to order them today, but I think we're going to order them in the next week, uh, which is going to help out tremendously. And this was that night last night. This was about mm, 11 o'clock I was filming this. 
Jeffrey Stars, I can't say enough nice things about it. I have no bad things to say about it. Um, I believe if I'd have went outside, I might have blinded the International Space Station. <laughs> but uh, I really do like this. So, next I take NYX Finishing Spray in the matte and spray my whole face. Yes, I know I haven't done lipstick yet, but I've learned to do my lipstick after I do the finishing spray. So, I'm giving myself a good dose of that. Just kind of let it dry. Now, for my lips. I have yet another Jeffree Star cosmetic um, product. And this is his liquid lip. And I don't know how you say it, but it's A-N-D-R-O-G-Y-N-Y. -Y. It is a beautiful color. It goes on lit. <laughs> As I said, beautiful it goes on wet it looks like a wet uh, gloss it dries matte it is very kissable um, you have to use good hot soapy water and you have to use a good cleanser to get it off which is a good thing um, I love it it's just wonderful so uh, kudos to Jeffrey and he's this is his second year I believe he said on snapchat this morning um, doing his own cosmetic line um, he's got the Beauty Killer eye palette, and I'm considering ordering it. Um, there's been mixed reviews, too, but I'm one of those. I read them, but then I buy them. You know, there were so many mixed reviews on Kathleen Lott's uh, palette with Morphe. And after buying it, I was tickled to death that I bought it. I'm glad I listened to my heart and done it. So I just kind of flipped my hair around. Um, it needed dry shampoo, but I didn't get it to get dry shampoo. So I just kind of flipped it up to curl it. Flipped it out, and there you go. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I love each and every one of you.